1.6, Classify Polygons. First thing we need to define is a plane figure. A plane figure is a figure that, surprisingly enough, lies in a plane. Essentially, it is anything that you can draw on a piece of paper. A 3D shape is not a plane figure. So if I can draw a triangle, that's a plane figure. If I can draw the sun, my drawing of the sun is a plane figure, but the sun itself, that 3D burning ball of sphere in the sky, is not a plane figure. We're going to study a specific type of plane figure called a polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure with the following characteristics. It is formed by three or more line segments, which we call sides, and each side is connected to exactly two other sides, one at each end point. What this means is I can draw a line segment and then where that line segment ends I'll start another line segment. Where that line segment ends I'll start another line segment and so on until I come back to the other end point of my first line segment. So notice any one of these sides is connected to exactly two others and they're joined at their end points. Let's try an example. In the figures given below, circle the shapes below that are polygons. Cross out the shapes that are not polygons. So remember you're looking for a closed plane figure with at least three or more line segments that are called sides, such that each line segment is connected to exactly two other sides, one at each endpoint. Try this out on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, we can cross out this middle figure because this one is not closed. Notice how we have this open side between these two endpoints. Okay, now I'm going to start looking for curved lines. The circle's out because that is not a line segment. The heart is out because we also have these curved lines that are not line segments, at least not the way we study them in Euclidean geometry. Now let's look at what's left. The figure in the upper left. We have four sides, because we have four line segments, and each is connected at their endpoints, creating this closed figure. So this is a polygon. The same thing applies to this cross, the lightning bolt, the L, the pentagon, and the triangle. Hopefully you figured out which ones were polygons and which ones weren't. If you made a mistake, go back to the definition of a polygon and see what you were missing. If you still have a question, you're welcome to email me or to ask me during class. Okay, we have two types of polygons that we'll look at. One is convex. And a polygon is convex if we extend each side of the polygon infinitely in either direction. So if we turn the line segments into lines, then the line should not pass through the polygon. Essentially, if I was a, to draw a convex polygon, like the one you see on your screen, when I extend each of these lines, notice how none of the lines pass through the interior of my polygon. So that's convex. Concave polygon is a polygon that is not convex. For example, if I were to draw this polygon here, notice when I extend these two sides, the lines pass through the interior of my polygon. So this one is concave. Okay, so an example two, you're given all polygons, I want you to determine which ones are convex and which ones are concave. Try this on your own first, and then go to the next video when you're ready to check your solution.